one that, that I think deserves a moment, which is thinking about using a webcam. And then, you know, we showed you with the document camera as well. I love this analogy, Drake. Of course, you know, I, I know you that you, you're really into RPG tabletop gaming and the whole tabletop world. It's so much fun. But if you could take a look at that, I, you know, I didn't prepare a picture of this. It would have been a good idea. But if you see what's happening in tabletop gaming online, on Twitch and other things, on YouTube, and you see the camera angles that they're using to show a tabletop game. There's so many educators who have to show something. You know, your wife is a prime example, Julia, but others, um, you know, whether it's a science project, it's a biology, it's um, chemistry, different things, where you can actually show the things. It makes it so much better than a talking head and a PowerPoint. Um, and so I think that it's good to have this vision of this is what the kids are seeing on YouTube with tabletop gaming. Clearly, we're not going to have eight cameras and studio lights and everything like that. But is there something that is realistic with a document camera and a webcam used together with maybe a little bit of media like we've talked about, pictures, video clips, B-roll, that can almost make this a really educational and uh, fun to watch presentation. Yeah, exactly. You, you hit the nail on the head with that as well. I mean, the, using the webcam, the doc cams, the B-roll, all that together and having that very, um, just even, you don't need to be full production vMix even like I am, even just OBS going from scene to scene to scene and stacking it is really going to touch with the students. And honestly, they're going to get a better view on some of the stuff than they did in the classroom. I know one thing that blew me away was when I used my doc cam um, in the presentation, it looked better than on my smart board in the classroom because no light, you know, no light bleed, nothing like that. And, you know, the projector I'm using, hate to throw my school district under the, under the bus, is about 10 years old, I want to say. And I think it's had light bulb change twice. So um, it's one that, you know, just that high definition, high resolution, where the kids actually got it right up there with them and you're interacting with the different cameras, bringing it in, it's going to engage them more because you are reaching out to them more. I love it. And it's something that, again, we need to do a deep dive. What is OBS? What is vMix? How do we mix all this together? And it's something we will do and we will release videos on that. Um, and then finally, I threw this slide in because if it all seems like a lot, which it is, um, there is a product from X Keys that we've been playing around with that totally manages Zoom for you. Screen sharing, recording. Here it is right here. I've got it in front of me. I can, I can show it to you guys. Um, now, maybe not every teacher is going to be able to get their school district to buy this for them, but I just wanted to show it off quickly. Um, you've got a lot on your mind. And if we go back to that slide again, Mike, I love this picture. And I'm going to go to the next one, too of a possible work from home slash teach from home setup where there's a cardboard box is the, the magic trick here. I'm guessing you have a laptop. I'm guessing you have a webcam, keyboard and mouse. There's a, a second monitor on a box that raises it up so that it, when you look at your, your, your students and you're looking at them on Zoom, you're making eye contact. And then when you glaze down at your work and your PowerPoint, you know, it's a natural scenario there where it's all lined up in a line there. And that comes from Michael Hetherington, which is, is kind of cool. Yeah, and I, I've got kind of a similar setup without turning my camera to, you know, to see it all that. It's just, um, it's one of those that, you know, I, I saw some disconnect because I'd see some teachers and I, you know, I was always saying I don't want to overset my bounds, but how much is your kid going to learn? if you're talking to them like this through the whole presentation. So, um, you know, it was one, find the sweet spot for your camera. You know, the box was an awesome idea. I've got my three monitors set up like in a you know, rainbow fashion around me, but you know, it's trial by error is what's gonna help the online educator during this and not to be afraid. If you think a box is going to do it, a box is gonna do it. I just wanted to show you when, when we first, uh went to lockdown mode. I, this is just like a, a bin that um, I think we had toys in for my kids at one point. And just setting the laptop on here mm -hmm. was able to raise the, you know, just the perfect height. So these are so cheap, you know, you can go to the dollar store 
get something like that. Well, we're just about at our full one hour. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank you, Drake and Julia, for joining me. This will be available on YouTube. So um, thank you both for being here. This has been so much fun. We covered so much. Drake, I really appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. You know, I'm always here whenever you need me to call. Yeah, I need to call. Thank you so much. Awesome job, Drake. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. All right, everybody. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It was so much fun. Take care.